Hello friends, Srinivas here. Welcome to our channel. Today friends will see how we can upload bulk invoices through ADFDI. So that is in Oracle Fusion Payable. So you know ADFDI which is application desktop integrator which uh, we can use to simply upload bulk number of transactional data or master data. Basically the transactional data to Oracle Fusion and uh, we'll see it's a very simple way to upload and without any technical intervention we can migrate the data okay so let us start <laughs> So this is AP screen where uh, we are able to see all the AP related uh, menu. So click on invoice. So this is from invoice tax panel. Just check or select create invoices from spreadsheet. So spreadsheet is nothing but predefined ADVD template provided by Oracle which you can use to upload your template so once you click this so it will uh, download excel template and just open it create quick invoices okay so this this is the template just click on enable editing and it will ask to get connectivity through your login to give your credential login detail to get into the fusion instance okay. so once you successfully logged into the cloud instance this template will be visible with all their uh, necessary fields to enter and populate for invoice import okay so now you can see the complete template is visible so we can uh, now prepare our data So let me find out one invoice which I have created manually and same data I will uh, use for my ADF day upload. Paragon Inc. Okay. For this supplier I have created one manual invoices. Open this invoice and I uh, will use it to prepare my data. Okay. So the first column invoice header identifier that is pre populated, you don't need to do anything. Select your business you need that is all copy here. You can select from LOV also. So import set it is not required invoice number you can uh, provide as for the supplier the uh, invoice okay so suppose i'll starting from a uh, 3000 series 3001 okay so bulk upload you can do here suppose i have created Five six invoices. Okay. Invest currency is USD. Invoice amount suppose
invest amount is 2000 suppose or 200 and here 201 just for testing purpose i'm giving some uh, amount here but be sure that to fulfill all the mandatory fields here otherwise you will face difficulties to upload invoice date i'll give the current date 7th or 8th i can give Supplier information, supplier is Paragon. Supplier number, that is, you can get here. Then supplier site. Select your supplier site. Better to validate the supplier site from this template itself. Sometimes it will not accept and the validation will be not happen and you will get error. So my supplier site will start from HA. Hamilton. Okay. So invest type is standard. Description you can give here. I am not giving. Amount. So that is. 200 so that is invoice amount you have to give here purchase order information if you have basically you have created PO in your system in purchase order module or procurement module that you have to give that number so that system will validate if there is no po you can avoid this but mostly if po's are available you can give the po number here purchase at lines but these are not mandatory distribution combination you can give here okay let me find out the valid distribution here so this is the distribution combination i can select and copy here or you can give your appropriate distribution here so that it should be a valid combinations and uh, you should not fail the severe error you can put here so that's all guys so all the mandatory fields we have populated so now it's time to upload the template okay Let us upload, save and submit the invoice import worksheet. Click on OK. Usually you will get message the row status as row inserted if it is successful. Okay. 
So now row is inserted to the interface. So do you want to submit the import process? Yes. Okay. So now our business unit is TCI business unit. Yes. We can put here. Business unit. You have to select. So now the, in the first steps, row inserted to interface table. Invoice import interface table. So now this is the program you can run to move the data to base table. So source is spreadsheet and uh, click on submit. So invoice import request detail. So this request should be there. If you go to the schedule process screen, you'll be able to see the request. Go to tool. Schedule process. Yeah. So now the payable invoice import process is successful. And uh, if you want to see the report, you can just see and it will generate a PDF output where you can see the import status how many invoices are uploaded successfully and uh, if anything rejected that also you can see here okay so this is the open interface import report we give you see so we have created these invoices, 3000, 3001, and it's up to 3006 imported successfully. Payable open interface audit report. So the import process is successful. So now, uh, if you want to query any of this invoice, save and close, and uh, you can query from uh, front end also. Click on manage invoice. Invoice number starting from 3000. Okay. Basically, you will get everything all the invoices so I have just inquired queried one particular invoice that is invoice number 3000 and uh, you can see here the invoice status is not validated so whatever invoices you will upload through spreadsheet so by default status will be not validated you can review and validate the status okay so just go to action and validate so now the status is validated now we can go and create your accounting and other uh, process okay so it's a very simple process to upload bulk number of uh, invoices in uh, into oracle uh, table okay mostly invoices will come from po or invoice imaging but in some cases if you are uh, 
uploading some of the invoice data from a particular third party tools and uh, other system you can map your data in this spreadsheet and you can upload in a fraction of seconds which is very very easy and user friendly okay guys thank you if you have any question doubt you can comment in the comment section and please subscribe follow and uh, share our videos like our videos and uh, to get the latest updates thank you guys thank you for watching this video